North Korean missile flies over Japan. North Korea ramped up its military aggression on Tuesday with yet another missile launch. Only this time, the projectile flew over one of its now increasingly worried neighbors. According to the South Korean military, North Korea fired a missile over Japan on Tuesday. The missile flew 1,677 miles and reached a height of 341 miles before breaking into three pieces and landing in the sea around 730 miles east of Hokkaido. This is the first time North Korea has launched a rocket over Japan since 2009. Kim Jong-un continues to defy international sanctions. Kim Jong-un blows up America in terrible propaganda video. DPRK state-run mouthpiece Aryang Manari published this video on Wednesday, and boy oh boy does it blow up stuff. And what we reckon is a not so subtle attempt to demonstrate the size of his missiles. Rotund dictator Kim Jong, who ate all the pies? Oh, I ate all the pies. Un probably ordered the video's creation after munching on whatever this is. The clip features lots of crosshairs and missile launches. It also shows the destruction of the USS Carl Vinson, one of the hefty US warships currently en route to the Korean Peninsula. Plus, and we're guessing this editing request came from the pie hole of Kim himself, the destruction of the US Capitol. But we've noticed something. When he's not eating cake or suppressing his own citizens, Kim is frequently pictured looking at stuff. And this has a lot of crosshairs. So the question is, could this be what Kim is actually looking at through those mystery binoculars? Nope, no, it's not. He's looking at those golden arches across the border in Seoul. Did we make that up? Well, unless you ask his royal lard ass yourself, you'll never know. <laughs> North Korea is growing its military might. U.S. authorities said on Wednesday that the intercontinental ballistic missile fired by North Korea on Tuesday was a new type of missile that the country had never seen before. The Hwasong-14 intercontinental ballistic missile contained a redesigned second stage. The second stage reportedly had a separate 30-second burn cycle that allowed the missile to travel farther, making it an intercontinental ballistic missile. U.S. officials confirmed the missile was capable of traveling more than 3,500 miles, meaning it would be able to reach Alaska. The United States conducted a joint missile exercise with South Korea in response to North Korea's ICBM test. North Korea said its missile was capable of carrying a large-sized, heavy nuclear warhead, but U.S. military experts doubt the country has the ability to develop a nuclear warhead that can be fitted into long-range missiles. Phew, that was a close one. Safety concerns have been raised over North Korea's aggressive missile testing program after the most recent launch came dangerously close to a passenger plane. On July 28th, an Air France flight to Paris took off from Tokyo, carrying more than 300 passengers. 45 minutes later, North Korea test launched an intercontinental ballistic missile from Chagang province. The missile climbed more than 2,000 miles before returning back to Earth. It landed in the Sea of Japan just five to 10 minutes after the Air France flight passed through the same area. In response to the incident, Air France put out a statement claiming North Korean test zones don't interfere with their flight paths, adding that they analyze potentially dangerous flyover zones. But experts say global aviation systems may not be able to even detect a missile in a plane's flight path, let alone warn airlines about it. Adjusting commercial flight paths may be one way of addressing the North Korean safety risk, but it will be both expensive and difficult. North Korea deploys four missiles. North Korea has fired four ballistic missiles toward Japan, with some landing as close as 300 kilometers from Japan's northwest coast. North Korea launched missiles from a location near the border with China on Monday. U.S. officials said the missiles were intermediate range. Four missiles in total were launched, and three of them landed in Japan's exclusive economic zone in the Sea of Japan. North Korea state media news agency KCNA said the country's leader Kim Jong-un supervised the launches. North Korea successfully launches missile into space. North Korea launched a long-range rocket on Sunday morning carrying what Pyongyang says is a satellite. Its launch caused North Korea's neighbors and the United States to release a flurry of condemnations. Many see it as a disguised ballistic missile test. The rocket was launched near the North Korean and Chinese border at around 9.30 a.m. South Korean time. As planned, the rocket traveled southwards over the Yellow Sea. 
South Korean officials say they lost track of the missile over Jeju Island at approximately 9.36 a.m. Japanese officials, however, say they spotted the missile over the southern islands of Okinawa at 9.41 a.m. The missile's final stage, which was carrying a satellite, then entered space. According to Reuters, the newly launched satellite is expected to orbit Earth every 94 minutes. The launch has prompted South Korea to announce that it will begin talks with the U.S. about deploying advanced missile defense. Of course, China and Russia are opposed to that idea.